Hello, dear students. Let's see this very beautiful question of Heredo. This question is of rigid body dynamics and is in front of your screen. The question states, in the arrangement shown in the figure, 1.65 uh, weight A possess mass M, a pulley B possess mass capital M, also known as the moment of inertia I of the pulley related to its axis and the radii of the pulley are R and 2R. The mass of the threads are negligible. Find the acceleration of the weight A after the system is set free. So as you can see uh, in the diagram, this is a step pulley. So it has a two part of thing like a one, one radius is R and two rad uh, another radius is two R. So the threads are the threads, the threads that are connected from the fixed support are connected to the part of the pulley which have a radius R. And the suspending mass is connected to part of the pulley which has a radius 2R. So let me draw a 2D diagram for this problem. One for the kinematics and then for the dynamics. Oh, here is a 2D diagram you can see. I have kept a little gap between the string and the this step pulley. So this part of the string is connected to the fixed support. So this point has a zero acceleration. So I am writing for the acceleration. And so all these points have zero acceleration like this. All these points have zero acceleration from the string constant. So come up to this point. So this point has also zero acceleration. And this point of the string is connected with a pulley. So this point of the pulley is also at rest momentarily because of the constant part. So what I can say that uh, this point of the string here so this is my IAR. From the IAR, the benefit of looking the motion from the IAR is that the motion appears to be pure rotation. So if I look the whole motion of the pulley, so from here, so that will appear to be pure rotation. And now I'll I'll come back to kinematics again. So let's go to the dynamics part. So in the dynamics part, I'll show the forces. Suppose uh, let me draw the FBD of the pulley. So here it's weight, uh, capital MG will act and the two tension by the two strings, suppose this tension is T1 and this tension is T2. And uh, on the this block A, the tension here will be T2 and it's weight small MG. The acceleration part will be explained by the kinematic consideration. So, so because of all these forces for the pulley which is doing the CTRM, we'll apply the torque about center mass. So about the center mass, the T1 and T2, both torque will be in the uh, clockwise direction. So they will give uh, this kind of alpha, like there will be an angular acceleration like this. So they, suppose this angular acceleration is alpha. And now because of this angular acceleration, the center mass will have some acceleration. Uh, from the kinematics you can see. I am looking from the IUR and this distance is R and from here motion is appearing to be pure rotational so the center mass will have an acceleration and that acceleration would be how much? That acceleration will be simply R alpha. So acceleration of center mass acceleration of center mass ACM ACM is equal to R alpha and now come to this point, this point, this point of the pulley. This point of the pulley is at a distance r plus 2r, I mean 3r. So this point will have acceleration 3r alpha. And this point is connected with a string, so a string will also have the same acceleration because there is no slipping. And from the string constant, all these points will have the same acceleration. So this body will have also have the same acceleration. That will be 3R alpha. So A will have acceleration 3R alpha. So now apply dynamics equation first for pulley. If I apply equation of dynamics for pulley, basically I want to apply F external is equal to MACM. In the downward direction, so in the downward direction, the forces acting on are the, its weight, capital MG, and then the two tensions, uh, plus T2 minus T1, this is equal to mass times acceleration of center mass, and acceleration of center mass is R alpha, so that is R alpha of my first equation. 
and then for the block A. Dynamics equation, same thing. F external is equal to m is here. So its weight is small mg. And the tension acting in the upward direction is T2. So minus T2. And that will be m r l m r into sorry m into 3 r alpha. So acceleration is 3 r alpha. Second equation. And finally, I'll apply uh, torque on torque about center of mass mass on pulley. So torque about center mass, the torque due to both um, T1 and T2 will add up. And you can see that this distance is, say, this distance is R. This distance is R and this distance is 3R. So torque due to T1 is T1 into R. And due to T2 is T2 into 3R and they both add up. So I can write T1 plus 3T2. Uh, T1 actually that is not 3 that is from the from center mass that distance is not 3R yeah? that from the center mass this distance is actually 2R the 3R was a distance from here to here and from here to here this distance is 2R so this is 2R T1 plus 2 T1R plus T2 2R so T1 plus 2 T2R is equal to moment of inertia is given to be i so i and angular acceleration is alpha so what i can take i can divide by r so this will become t1 plus 2t2 is equal to i uh, alpha by r and this is my third equation from these equation i want to uh, eliminate tensions so see what i can do if i add equation one and equation three so first of all t1 will get cancelled and adding one and three uh, that will become three t2 and from here if i want to eliminate so if i add i mean minus three t2 that will be i will get rid of the tension so what i'm going to do i'm going to add equation one and uh, multiply equation by 3 and then add equation 3 so i am going to do operation equation 1 equation 3 adding them and uh, multiply equation 2 by 3 and then add so see what what we are going to get so first you can see that all tension will get cancelled on adding 1 and 3 uh, minus t1 and plus t1 that will go on and adding equation 2 by uh, multiplying after multiplying by 3 so that will become minus 3t2 and there, there was 3t2 so all the tension part will go on so overall i am going to get m capital mg and here uh, plus 3 small m g and then the here the rhs part capital m plus this is going to be a uh, nine small m plus i from one and two i taken r alpha outside so here that i will not be there because i had taken r alpha outside so there was i and uh, what will be there i by r square will be there and then r alpha will be outside so here uh, i've got r alpha is equal to capital m plus 3 small m g uh, divide by capital m plus 9 m plus i by r square and this is r alpha and we have to find the acceleration of weight a and you can see the acceleration the weight is 3 r alpha so my required answer is a a is 3 r alpha so just multiply here also by th factor 3 so this is the final answer